Hello everybody and welcome back to Golden Dragon Games. I'm your host Rocky2815 and welcome to a spooky mod review. Well, another one actually. So, me and Professor Green Tea are here in our Halloween outfits today. So, I guess let's get on with the showcase. So today we are reviewing the pumpkin patch mod and I am going to start with any meaning miny mo uh, the, these things so these are the gift boxes they basically give you random items from the mod and of course as I'm in creative it won't actually give me the items ah there we go. So we've it gives you pumpkins, obviously, but it gives you uh, food and crafting items. Whoa! Stand back! Stand back! Stand back! I can't believe we're getting interrupted by a ghost. Honestly. Oh, actually, good time to. <laughs> So, this only heals half a hunger, and this is the sugar cane, which is made out of, well, free sugar. This is another thing, soul candy, a pumpkin soul, and for sugar. Now, pumpkin souls are dropped by the mobs. If I quickly go over to this chest, because we will be fighting some pretty OP mobs. Because I have seen two reviews on this mod and it's gonna get pretty hectic and the next thing is the harvester so if you just take your pumpkins and I think this is for like um well okay I couldn't really understand it because I'm pretty sure this was on a Japanese forum so you put it in there, and then, of course, it. Smell come up with who the. Why isn't it? And why was I just able to pick it up like I'm in creative? This is really weird. Ah, there we go. And then you get double the pumpkins, basically, that you put in. And then next we got Ivy. Poison Ivy. Well, it does actually poison you, but it is like a spider's web. Very sticky and annoying. Here we got Scrap. A big metal. And I'll quickly go back into creative to show you how to craft this. So the metal is crafted... And it has no crafting recipe, of course. Next, we got the soul core. Now, uh, like I said, I have no idea what these things do. But soul core is made out of scrap metal thing, activated soul might, and a quartz block, any type. And activated soul might is out of soul might and pumpkin rods. Pumpkin rods are from pumpkin souls. And... I think that's... Ah! Soul Might is from Soul Might Nuggets, which is from... You probably get from smelting the Soul Might ore if we checked it. And of course it won't actually show the uses for it. And then... Here we got Soul Might Block, which is made out of Soul Might Ingots, which you can get from... Nine from either doing a block or you smelt activated soul might now I'm gonna show the mobs last so what should we do next uh, I think we do foods next right some of this two of the foods you already seen which is the sugar cane the soul candy but there's also pumpkin pot Pottage? I don't know. Uh, pumpkin 
pudding, pumpkin pie, pumpkin stew, pumpkin... I can't pronounce that. Roasted pumpkin. And pumpkin cake and I'll be back in one sec because it seems to have frozen. Okay everybody, I am back after that momentary crash. The last piece of food is pumpkin cake, which I believe acts like a normal cake where you, yeah, it acts like a normal cake and obviously when you get hungry you can munch on it. Next, I will go over special pumpkins. Okay, huge pumpkin doesn't really do anything much apart from... It's absolutely ginormous, even in my inventory. Next we got Pumpkin J, which I believe can be used. Yeah, it can be used for the Pumpkin Sword, the Pumpkin Pickaxe, the Pumpkin Shovel, the Pumpkin Sword. Basically some of the tools. Also you get a blue Pumpkin Sword when you smelt it. So, just nice little decoration. Next we got the jack lantern which is supposed to, if I just get any eye out of the way, haste 2 for 7 seconds and regeneration 2 for 3 seconds. Now if I place back down and just wait for the buffs to go away, come on. I will show you the swede which has negative effects. Which has poison too and nausea too. Oh my word! Mind you, strangely enough, I believe it is actually used for crafting recipes. Yes, weapon thirteen, which has four attack damage, and also it's used to craft a jack o' lantern along with the hell light coal, which probably drops off mobs. I think. I don't know. Oh, not again! Oh, I redo like it when it does that but it is all the special pumpkin so next we go on to some stuff and I'll be showing you this thing last so we got some items here we got sunglasses which I'll show you what they look like when you put them on we got a mag amp um, energy tube hell light coal red piece some sort of blade, again a blade, these end seeds are used to create pumpkin souls, which is an alternative way again, but I'm not sure how to get them, same with soulmite nuggets, but we got pumpkin blue soul, pumpkin soul, and pumpkin heart, which is used for pumpkin axe, and the harvester, and to create the pumpkin heart, it takes a pumpkin blue soul, and a normal pumpkin soul. And is there anything you've seen like the soul might stuff? There's this soul amp thing which I guess goes with that. This blade thing which I don't know what it does, this coordination type thing and this battery pack. Like I said, I don't know much. And then we got the smooth white skin which sounds very creepy. And we got strange level which is for smooth white skin plus string and we got a piece of redstone here because you can create this turner's mask i know i said i was going to show it to you later but i might as well show it to you now so first of all if we take all this off put sunglasses on first i guess i look okay but uh i don't know what do you think people out there watching this video and also I just took a screenshot because I thought I would Turner's mask gives you debuff of slowness free I've no idea why you would put want to put this thing on 
especially when it gives you slowness free. We we'll just put those back in there and put the armor back on. And I've got all this armor because of the mobs. And we look at the weapons. We got the glaive, which is a thrown weapon, so it comes straight back to you. We got 13, which I already showed you its crafting recipe for. We got the soul shovel, which is two blue pumpkin souls, soul might. So, uh, pumpkin rods and soul might ingot a uh, soul crossbow which i believe is supposed to work with normal arrows but i tried it and it does not work so you need a soul arm uh, soul might in ingots soul might and blue pumpkin soul then we got pumpkin axe soul pickaxe which has the same attack damage as a diamond sword which i thought i would never see so, some my ingots, and you basically see all the crafting recipes are sort of the same, apart from the shovel and this. And I will actually show you the special abilities. So, with this one, it does sort of the explosion thing to push enemies back. And now, do this, I believe it's supposed to, yeah. It gets rid of a whole lot of dirt, because after all it's a shovel, so it can only dig dirt and gravel. So I'll just quickly get rid of all that, and put it back in the weapon. Now the pumpkin axe, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, so basically those don't have abilities is what I'm trying to say. So. We go on to the final thing of this mod, which is the mobs, which we will be fighting in the arena I have made after I have set it to daytime. And of course the rain has to start. I'll just get rid of that pressure plate because we've got all the mobs here and we what's that I thought it was creeper anyway we're going to survival first we got Jack who seems to like it at midnight if I just type in the spawn egg and Get Jack. Jack is basically an Enderman with a pumpkin on his head. But what you can do is trade pumpkins for these hollow tokens, which then you can trade 32 of those for Pumpkin J. Because I've seen a mod review on this already, I know what his trade is. So if we just turn it today to get rid of him. So that's mob number one. We got a pumpkin zombie who has got 20 health and hits really hard and of course his pumpkin head turns small and he drops pumpkins that's basically what all the mobs drop just to say we got the pumpkin skeleton who doesn't seem to hit very hard for something with 40 health and here we see the pumpkin soul drop next is the tameable pumpkin creeper now this is what i really want to show you how cool is it to oh come on that should have been enough pumpkins to tame him never mind we'll try ah oh, yes here he is now he is your pet oh where, where, where are you go <sighs> uh, never mind Pumpkin Golem next, he gives you poison, and he's got 100 health, and he is deadly, so Pumpkin Creeper, help me, help me, oh, I think I got that, oh, sorry Pumpkin Creeper, oh, we'll wait for the poison to go away, he dropped Pumpkin Blue Souls, next we're getting Pumpkin spider. Oh, this isn't the tameable one. There's supposed to be a tameable one.
which I can't seem to find. And the music is really weird, so I'm gonna just turn it off. And we're going to move on to this one, the normal pumpkin creeper. And I forgot to um. Well, you know. With oh my, he's still alive. I thought he was dead. So that's the arena wrecked pretty much. And this video is coming up to 10 minutes. So let's go on with the. What? That's not actual. What? Okay, some of those weren't actual <laughs> things. Those were spawn eggs from something else that I got installed. Next, we'll do the. Hang on. Huh? Why wait? Is because it's not night time? Okay, I guess these aren't the proper mobs. And I was pretty sure I had all of these in my inventory. So, apologies for this. We try out Turner, which is the guy that you make the mask from, and he has got 50 health, he turns invisible and teleports. Oh! Wait. Uh oh. <sighs> Personally, I don't know why you would want to fight this guy. He didn't seem to drop anything. Pumpkin Golem. Um, he doesn't seem to be attacking, but he is so gonna kill us. He is really loud. So no, 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 no. Something I think has got me. Here is Yif, and this one's slightly creepy, plus she spawns one of these with strength and speed. Let's try the Hell Pumpkin Spider now. This one only spawns in the Nether, just to say. So, that's that one. And then we'll try... Whoa! This one doesn't seem to be able to attack me. Uh, done that one, done that one, done that one. Done that one. Done that one. Is there any... Ah, here's the tameable pumpkin spider. Golem, Endmaster. Showing that. I guess I'll show the hell pumpkin creeper, which again only spawns in the nether. Okay. That was pretty easy, but this is pretty OP weapon. It's Emerald Scythe. Plus 8 attack damage, looting 3, power V, being arthropods V, and unbreaking 3, which I'm not sure if unbreaking actually does anything. So here's the tameable spider, we'll get our pumpkins, and I think when he's like this, he's in sitting down mode, when he's like this, he's not. Uh... Now, the Ender Master. I saved this one to last because it is terrifying. And it only spawns in the end. Here he is. He is. Easy! 
but that's because I'm in creative mode. But I wanted to face these in creative mode, I decided, so... Okay, that is basically everything, so I'll just drop these, and... That is basically everything that this mod has to... I couldn't actually control my player character for a moment there. So, from me, my little tameable pumpkin spider, and Professor Green Tea, thank you all for watching this spooky Halloween video, and the journey to Hero Brian's grave, which I mentioned in the Halloween update vlog, which I will be doing will be out tomorrow promise honestly because it's not many do you mind pumpkin spider thank you but anyway like i said thank you everybody for watching and until the next video remember to leave a like share favorite comment and until next time bye sees